All right, Shalom. All right, first and foremost, we want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone for teaching and ruling well in the scriptures. And salutations to you, Akim, across the world, pushing his word in truth and in sincerity and with charity. And basically, this is going to be a, a lesson going into the fact that uh, we're coming to the last days and these people are continuing to not choose the fear of the Lord. All right, they're continuing to choose their own vain imaginations. All right, we're on the highways and byways trying to teach people and people just, you know, walk up and down the street lackadaisical, you know, thinking they know everything, thinking everything's all good in America when, <laughs> you know, America's about to be destroyed. And that time's coming closer and closer. All right, and that time, when that time comes, there's not going to be any excuses. It's not going to be any salvation for you. You're just going to either pine away and all the destruction and chaos is going to happen. All right, or you're going to get melted by the thermonuclear destructive missiles. Why? Because you didn't fear the Lord. Why? Because you didn't try to get right. All right, you didn't even make a, a, a effort. All right, that's why the scripture says that uh, uh, Israel doth not consider. Okay, and then that's, that goes for majority of these people out here. They don't consider anything. They think there's no creator. All right, so that time coming is, is when you people that, that do whatever you want, that go after your own mind, you're going to be destroyed. All right, because the Lord set up laws, statutes, and commandments that we're trying to teach our people again so they don't get destroyed, but but our people are not hearkening to it, all right? But when that destruction comes, then you people are going to start wanting answers, but it's going to be too late, all right? Because you didn't choose the fear of the Lord. This is uh, Proverbs 1, I'm going to start at 28. It says, then, it says, then shall they call upon me, but I will not answer. They shall seek me early, but they shall not find me. So when all this destruction starts to come, come, all these calamities start to pour out into America and around the world, you're not going to have any answers. You're not going to have any help. And you're going to go seeking for it, and you're not going to find anything because the men on the highways and byways have been trying to tell you to get right, right to, 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 to start learning what to do during these times. Because that's why the scripture says that wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times. You won't have that. So your times is not going to be stable. It's going to be all chaos and cha it's going to be chaotic for you. And then you're going to get destroyed. Verse 29, it says, For that they hated knowledge and did not choose the fear of Yahweh, they were none of my counsel. They despised all my reproof. It, exactly, because a lot of our people, they despise the correction that we're giving them on the highways and byways and on these video epistles. All right, they come against us, say we're crazy. All right, they hate, say we're, we're pushing hate. But, you know, underneath, we're just trying to save your soul, man. All right, we're trying to uh, put you in the right light in front of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, so he doesn't destroy you, so he helps you through these times. But our people don't, they didn't choose that way, which means they didn't choose the fear of the Lord. It says, verse 31, it says, therefore shall they eat of the fruit of their own way. All right, so you like to think you know everything. All right, you think you're going to be good during these times. The Lord said, okay, you're going you're gonna, to you're gonna have to depend on that. You're going to have to depend on your own vain opinion. You're going to have to depend on the things that you think you know, okay? And you're going to have to eat of the fruit of your doings, all right? A lot of you people out here doing wickedness, being adulterers, all right, being whores, all right, going from man to man, eating abominable foods, okay? You're going to have to, you're going to have to eat of the fruit of your doings. All that stuff, you, all the wickedness you do in your life, you're going to have to pay for it, okay? You're going to have to answer for it. It says, and be filled with their own devices, all right, so, so a lot of you people have uh, 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 burnt bridges with people. A lot of you people um, make enemies with the wrong people. All this stuff is going to come back upon you, man. All right, when there's no when there's no law here, people are going to do whatever they want to do. All right, so if you, you've been that type of person that's been fucking people over, if you've been that type of person, like the so-called white man that's been getting over on people, all that's going to come back onto you. All right, there's not going to be any law. To it's going to be all lawlessness. So you're going to get destroyed by by the fruit of your own doings, by the devices that you have filled yourselves with. Uh, this is verse 32. It says, "For tur for the turning away of the simple shall slay them, and the prosperity of fools shall destroy them." All right, so you people that think you're living luxury or luxuriously, all right, you're living in comfort and deliciousness. All that is going to come to an abrupt end in one day, man. All right, because all none of that shit is gonna save you out of destruction. Only the fear of Yahweh Bashim Yahshai is gonna gonna save you out of this destruction. Why? Because you're gonna have His Spirit. You're gonna have His knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. All right, and that's gonna keep you stable. Although you know the men of the Lord, we we might get shaken up a little bit during these times, but we're gonna be way more stable than all these other people out here. 
because they don't know what's going on. All right, and we've been telling you people for, for <laughs> the, the apostles and elders on down have been telling you for 30, 40 plus years what's going to happen in these last days. And, and look what happened. Nobody took heed but the spirits that Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai wanted. Everybody else is, is set for destruction. They're set in their place. The Lord has written you in your, uh, your final destination like the movie, man. Okay? This is... Um, This is uh, Psalms. This is Psalms chapter 28, verse 4. It says, Give them according to their deeds <laughs> and according to the wickedness of their endeavors. Give them according after the works of their hands. Render to them their desert. All right, so everything that you've been doing, all right, contrary to following these scriptures, contrary to following Yahweh Bashem Yahshai, contrary to, 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 to trying to get right, the Lord's going to give you over to all that wickedness that you've been doing. All right, you're going to starve to death. All right, you, if you have kids, you and your kids are going to starve to death. Because it's not going to be any food for you and your kids to eat. All right, there's going to be families fighting for the fighting against other families just to feed their children. And a lot of you families, you're not going to be able to feed your children. You're going to end up eating your children. You see? And that's the Lord <laughs> rendering unto you <laughs> the wickedness of your endeavors, which is not fearing the Lord, which is not taking heed to these law, statutes, and commandments, which is not... Uh, 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 ingraining what's going to happen in the last days So you can be prepared mentally Alright, so you people are just going to completely bug out And starve to death, you're going to kill each other Alright, that's what's coming, man Before these missiles hit this place This is Psalms 28.5 It says, because they regard not the works of the Lord Okay, you see all this stuff happening on the planet You see the uh, the, 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 the the earthquakes You see the, the tsunamis You see the hurricanes you see the forest fires? This is all works of the Lord. You're not regarding the time. The Lord is showing you that he's about to come down with, with great wrath on, on the wicked, man. And you people not doing nothing but continuing to party, continue to do drugs, continue to be whores, homosexuals. All right, continue to be wicked, man. And the Lord is going to render to you your wick, the wickedness of your endeavors, man. It says, because they regard not the works of the Lord, nor the operation of his hands, he shall destroy them and not build them up. So the Lord is just going to destroy anybody not trying to get back in, in good graces with him, man. Because you're you're worthless, basically. Okay? You were created and born in vain. That's what a lot of you people <laughs> were born for. You were born to be destroyed. You were born to be an example of what not to do in these last days. That's, the, that's why you come against us. Because you see that we're trying to do the right thing. We're trying to get right in this wicked-ass world, man. And the Lord sees that. The angels are watching. All right, so who do you think the Lord is going to have more favor over? You people that are not even giving an effort or the people that are busting their ass trying to uh, be righteous, trying to do what the Lord says in this uh, wicked flesh, all right, in a wicked world, okay? The Lord looks on these things. That's why Job said, weigh, my, weigh me in the balance, you see? So if the Lord were to weigh us, Lord willing, we will be, we will be uh, uh, sanctified. We will be, uh, uh, we will be ready for salvation. Why? Because we've been actually putting the effort into trying to get right, man. Unlike you other people, man. You see? You got one? It's uh, Jeremiah chapter 7, verse 23. Gotcha. It says, But this thing commanded I them, saying, Obey my voice, and I will be your power, and ye shall be my people, and walk ye in all the ways that I have commanded you, that it may be well unto you. But they hearken not, nor incline their ear, but walked in the counsel and in the imagination of their evil heart, and went backwards and not forward. Mm -hmm. So just like the brother was saying, you all uh, want to lean on to your own understanding. You want to do your things about this world because that's what you grew up in. That's what you uh, uh, like, the vibrations that Esau had placed upon you. You know what I'm saying? Since you all like these vibrations and stuff, you know, you all continue in your weak, uh, wicked heart, which is leaning on towards the flesh and not doing something spiritual, mm -hmm. you know? And it says, uh, it says, and went backward and not forward. So you all are actually going backwards. You know what I'm saying? Yep. You think you're going forward, but really you're in a delusion. That's you right. Know? Verse, uh, uh, verse 25, it says, since the day that your fathers came forth out of the land of Egypt unto this day, I have even sent unto you all my servants, the prophets, daily rising up early and sending them you know what i'm saying so the thing is is that the lord is forewarning you early 
You know what I'm saying? Not at the time when shit happens. You know what I'm saying? And not afterwards. No, he's giving you warning first because that's the whole purpose of a warning. You know, you can't warn somebody when something happened. It already happened. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? We're warning you for uh, what's to come. It says, uh, verse 26, Yet they hearken not unto me, nor incline their ear, but harden their neck. They did worse than their fathers. And the scripture says in 2nd Ezra, the 14th chapter, about how the evil shall increase, and they are increasing. You know what I'm saying? It's child pedophilia. You know what I'm saying? You got the pizza gate where they do certain codes just so they can have sex with little boys and little girls. You know, they get a... a, 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 a uh, sexual subliminal messages in all uh, the Disney movies. Most of the Disney car uh, characters are created from penises and pussies. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You know? And, and, and If I might say, okay. if I might say, these are the things that you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, you, you avoid these things. You're okay with these things. Okay? You're okay with wicked devices that the brother is describing, man. Which is why you're doing worse than your fathers. You ain't even trying to turn to the Lord, man. <laughs> You know, there was uh, instances during our history when, you know, Israel did wickedness and they, 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 they rent their clothes and, they, and they, they, they repented. And the Lord has some type of mercy on them. But you can see how in the last days, how the Lord's not going to have mercy on none of these people, man. Because they're not even trying, man. They're doing worse than our forefathers, just like the scripture says. You know, they're not even making an effort. You tell them the truth. All right, they go halfway with the truth and then they go still try to be in this world, man. That's, it doesn't work like that, man. This world, this world is is an enemy. Okay, the Lord hates this world. He hates the vibration of this world. He hates the things that are in this world. He hates the people that run this world. Okay, so why would you try to continue to be a part of this world that's going to be destroyed? Because you're hardening your neck. And then even on top of that, it says in Hebrews uh, twelve and seventeen that uh, uh, that he won't be Esau won't be able to receive mercy. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So this is the one who you actually follow him because you see right now he got all the power. His face is on the money. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? He the one who controls everything. And with that being said, that's that's who you all want to follow. But he's not going to receive uh, uh, repentance. You know what I'm saying? He's that uh, uh, that parable when it comes down to uh, uh, it's easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle, which is a tiny hole. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, then a rich man to enter into the kingdom of heaven, and he saw us that rich man. Mm -hmm. You know, all he knows is carnality. According to Romans eight and six, carnality is death, but to be spiritual minded is life. Exactly, and and that's that standard that our people follow. You follow the standard of the so called white man. All right, we tell you this truth, and it's foreign to you. Why? Because this is this is not of a Western mindset. All right, you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. You are, you you were supposed to be set on Eastern ways. Which are the ways of Yahweh about Shem Shai? You see the the Arabs, they get their they they follow their things because of us. They 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 have their women wrapped up because of us. They're fought, they're trying to follow our laws while our people are over here in the Western Hemisphere doing complete contrary to what Yahweh about Shem Shai said for our people to be doing. All right? Why? Because like the brother said, you're following the ways of the so-called white man who is not going to receive any mercy. The white man is not going to be able to save you out of this kind of destruction. This is a destruction coming from on high. This is above him. This is above his pay grade. Way above his pay grade. All right, way above the uh, the wicked elite. You see, so if you continue to follow this way, the way of this type of world, <laughs> which is wickedness, all right, and madness and folly, and vanity, then you're gonna be destroyed because you're unprofitable as an Israelite. All right, that's why it says, uh, if the roughly paraphrasing, that we're the salt of the world. But if you if we're not salted anymore, which is having this knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. Being the light of the world, then we're good for nothing. That's why the Lord's gonna cast you into everlasting fire, man. Through uh, through these uh, ICBMs. Yeah, I, I got the uh, precept. This uh, Hebrews twelve and sixteen. All right, go ahead. This Hebrews twelve and sixteen. It says, "Lest there be any fornicator or profane person, as Esau, who for one morsel of meat sold his birthright." For ye know how that afterwards, when he would have inherited the blessing, he was rejected. For he found no place of repentance, though he sought it carefully with tears. So here it is. This is the person that you follow. This is the person that you want to be. You know what I'm saying? But he's not going to have any repentance. You know what I'm saying? Here it is. He would have had the blessing to rule everything, have everything underneath his subjection. But because he was impatient and didn't have no patience, guess what? He's not going to be able to have 
uh, 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 the, the greater the greater the good that he would have inherited, you mm -hmm. know. And this is where you people want to follow. This is where you consider it as greatness. You know what I'm saying? But you know, you see that this greatness, no matter how much you try to hold it up, like Peter, off a uh, uh, Family Guy, how you try to pick up the frog, and the frog kept slipping mm -hmm. from the piece of wood that he had. That's yeah. pretty much how it is with Esau, but he can't hold it up. In the end, it's only inevitable, you know? Mm -hmm. and, and, and you see his, his end coming, man. He sees his end coming. But you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, you don't see no end coming. You just in, you just so stuck in your damn foolish ass ways, man. You think America's gonna go on forever? All right, you, our people don't pay attention to news, okay? All these other countries are turning against this place, and they're gonna eventually destroy this place, just like the scripture says. What are you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans gonna do in that day, man? What are you gonna do when you hear uh, 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 thermonuclear destructive missiles are on their way and they'll be here in 20 minutes? What are you gonna do then? A lot of you going to uh, 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 shit on yourselves, piss on yourselves in your house, all right? Try to cry to God. That's when, the, <laughs> you know, they're going to try to call the Lord. you go going to try to call the Lord then. That's, it's going to be too late. That's why, the, that's why the scriptures I read earlier, it says they shall seek me. They shall seek me uh, uh, early, but it shall be too late. The Lord is not going to try to defend you people, man, okay? You're going to just have to get burnt up, you know? That's what's going to happen to you. All right, and then we're going to have the biggest I told you so right in your face, laughing at you, all right, while you're starving, all right, laughing at you while you eat, while, while, while you uh, eat your kids, and we walk by and see you, okay, we're going to laugh at you, because the Lord said we shall laugh at your calamities, why, because you didn't hearken to this word, man, you didn't try to get right, you didn't try to do right, you continued in your evil, wicked vibrations that have been pushed on you by the so-called white man, and he's about to be destroyed, and you're going to be destroyed with him if you don't come out of his ways, man. Okay, if you don't hearken to this word completely, all right, give your own, give your whole body over to this, like, and become a living sacrifice for the Yahweh Bashim Shai. That's how you can you could possibly be saved, man. Right? Who who wanna who wanna uh, who wanna stay and see that the ends get cut off? You gonna feel like you got cheated? <laughs> yeah, exactly. You cheated out of your money. Exactly. <laughs> hey, this uh, this Proverbs chapter five, verse um. Uh, verse 12. Kind of. This Proverbs chapter 5, verse 12, it says, And say, How have I hated instruction in my heart, despised the reproof? And that's exactly what you all are doing. It says, and, and have not obeyed the voice of my teachers, nor inclined my ears to them that instructed me. And you're not listening, you know. The scriptures talk about in um, Proverbs the first chapter how you uh, uh, disregard the Lord's hand. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? That's the prophets. You know, every king will send out his message or his news that need to be presented onto his subjects through messengers, man. He's mm -hmm. not going to just get out of his throne and do one by one. You know what I'm saying? That mm -hmm. wouldn't be smart. If he had many messages, he's going to use the messages because his message can be brought forth uh, uh, in a wider range. Sure. Right. Right. You know, uh, verse 13, it says, And have not obeyed the voice of my teachers, nor inclined my ear to them that instructed me. And since you all are not trying to listen, this is what's going to happen. Verse 11, it says, It says, And thou mourn at the at the last when thy flesh and thy body are mm. consumed. You know what I'm saying? And what's going to consume your uh, 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 your body, man? Uh, the thermonuclear missiles, man. Yep. You know? The ICBM, the intercosmic ballistic missiles. That's right. You know, which burn at billions of degrees, man. That's you right. Know? And, and, and uh, it also, scripture also talks about uh, uh, fervent heat that will melt the elements, man. That's right. You know what I'm saying? That's right. You know? You got more? I got one. This is, uh, this is Malachi. This is Malachi chapter 4, verse 1. It says, for behold, the day cometh that shall burn as an oven. This is what the brother's going into. You're going to consume away. It says, and all the proud, because you're, you're so proud, you can't hearken to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. You, you, you're in that mind state of Esau. He's the proud, carnal man. It says, yeah, and all that do wickedly shall be stubble. And the day that cometh, which is coming quickly, man. All right. America is getting uh, 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 put into a corner, man, by all these other countries. Why? Because it says in Isaiah... And in Jeremiah that they're going to shoot at her. What are they going to shoot? ICBMs that you're seeing on the news. It says, and the day that cometh shall burn them up. So this is going to be the end thereof for all you American people. The Lord is going to burn you up. All right. From 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 sea to shining sea is going to be burnt. 
All right, with with thermonuclear heat, man. And that's and then that's the case, man. You guys like to say, oh, from sea to shiny. That's what the Lord is gonna get your ass from sea to shining sea. He's gonna pelt this place with missiles, man. Okay, and you people are not listening. It says, and the day that cometh shall burn them up, saith the Lord of hosts, that it shall leave them neither root nor branch. Okay, so what's happening? What's what's gonna happen in these last days? All right, this place is gonna become a a, a lake of fire, and you people are gonna be in it, man. All your children, your wicked ass aunties and uncles, you're going to be in it. All you church goers, all right, following Jesus Christ, which is a figment, a figment of Ptolemy the first imagination, you're going to be burnt up. All you people that, that, that go to church but still eat pork, all you people that go to church and still commit adultery, all you people that go to church and get out of church and smoke a cigarette, the Lord's going to burn you up because you ain't hearkening to the words of the Lord. You ain't sincere. You see? Which is why the, 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 the world to come is made for few, man. And few shall be saved. Who are those few? The people that are actually making an effort, man. The people that are actually uh, uh, meditating these scriptures day and night. Hoping and praying that they get salvation out of this destruction because they see it coming, man. Okay? You people don't see this destruction coming and you don't even want no salvation out of it. Okay? You don't even want to listen to what's going to happen in the, in the last days to America or Babylon the Great. That's why you ain't going to be saved, man. That's why the Lord is raising up people that he feel and deems is, is worthy. So he wants to put them through the fire, man. Okay? Lord willing, we endure his fire, man, and, and make it until the end. You see? Right, the fire the brother's talking about is the spiritual fire. You yep. all don't want to go through that, but yep. y'all rather go through uh, some physical fire. You out of your mind. <laughs> Stay out of their mind, bro. You, you ain't, ain't going to put your hand on, 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 the, uh, on top of the uh, stove, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So why would you want your entire body consumed in that way every time you try to run away from it, you still burn? You still burn, yep. Uh, this is how, this is, I got a few of them. Huh. This is Zechariah chapter 14, verse 12. All right, go ahead. It says, uh, and this shall be the plague wherewith Yahweh Bashim Yahshua will smite all the people that had fought against Jerusalem. And we already know that the heat is going to fight against us. You know what I'm saying? You know, but this also goes into your two thirds, man. You know, you're not going to like the correction that we give you. You know what I'm saying? You're going to be offended for a word just because we use rough words and stuff that causes you not to hear the hearken on to the message. So it's going to cause you to come up against a backbite. You know what I'm saying? And it says, uh, their flesh shall consume away while they stand upon their feet. And their eyes shall consume away in their holes, and their tongue shall consume away in their mouth. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So what, what's the only thing that the Lord ain't splashing acid on you? You know what I'm saying? What, what other element is able to do this? You know what I'm saying? It, it, it's fire, man. You know? This is uh, 2 Peter chapter 3, verse 10. Second Peter chapter three verse ten it says, But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, in the which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. The earth also and the works that are therein shall be burnt up. You know what I'm saying? So this is a uh <laughs> every place is gonna get hit with fire, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And uh, what's that great noise? A gigantic boom. You know, what What makes a gigantic boom noise? Uh, an explosion, mm -hmm. you know? And these missiles, you know what I'm saying? When they come over and they hit their target, it's going to be a gigantic explosion. Uh, uh, verse 11, it says, Seeing then that all th these things shall be dissolved, what manner of person ought ye to be in all holy conversation and uh, uh, godliness? Conversation also goes into behavior. So mm -hmm. what is the behavior that you need to do? You need to follow the law, statutes, and commandments. You know what I'm saying? You know, the Lord uh, is looking for uh, Israelites who, who do the works of Israelites as well. Not just call themselves Israelites and yet want to still serve the world. That's having two masters. Okay. Verse 12, it says, Looking for and hasting unto the coming of the day of the Most High, wherein the, heaven, the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. And it says the elements, man. You know what I'm saying? Imagine air being exactly where, where it's no longer there no more because it's so hot, you know? Mm -hmm. Imagine your body still being that, man. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. You know? Revelation 20 and 10. Okay. Yeah, 
got you. Uh, this is our uh, Revelation chapter 20, verse 10. It says, And the devil that deceived them was cast into the lake of fire and brimstone, where the beast and the false prophet are and shall be tormented day and night forever and ever. Uh, that uh, uh, the, the false prophet is the uh, Catholic Church, man, the Roman Catholic Church, you know, that they put out the, uh, the Jesus Christ. You know what I'm saying? They put out the uh, the false doctrine that don't actually go with the Bible, man. You know? Mm -hmm. and, and it says, at the top it says, and the devil that deceived them. These are the ones that you are following. This East, uh, you uh, Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, you are following the Caucasians. You know what I'm saying? You know, the Edomites. And they the devil because they had deceived. They put the put their images on the prophets, on, on Yahweh Shai and the Heavenly Father. You know what I'm saying? That's the blasphemy that he deceived you with. And for the fact that you all want to continue on with that and stuff, that's you going against Jerusalem. And so, if I might say, that's you're following Satan. All right, the so-called white race, they're Satan. The word Satan, all right, means adversary. Adversary to what? Yahweh Bashim Shai and his righteousness and his law, statutes, and commandments, which is why you see them doing everything contrary to everything in the book, man. You see them uh, uh, legalizing homosexual uh, uh, marriage. You see them about to legalize pedophilia. All right, uh, National Man Boy Lovers Association. You see them about to legalize child molestation. You see them uh, putting uh, abominable fools and everything. You see them doing everything contrary to what the Lord said. They are Satan, which means adversary, and you're following Satan. So what do you think? What you gonna? What do you think is gonna happen to you? You gonna get the same judgment that the Yahweh Bashem Shah has for Satan, okay? Which is a fiery destruction. You see? So I can. Uh, 14. Got you. It says, it says, in death and hell were cast into the lake of fire. You know what I'm saying? And uh, uh, how can death and hell, for what you people think, mm -hmm. because what the Roman Catholic Church had taught you about what hell was, you know what I'm saying? How can it be cast in the fire? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? How can death be cast in the fire? You know what I'm saying? Fire causes death. Mm -hmm. You know? It says, uh, I read again, it says, and death and hell were cast into the lake of fire. Hell is a condition of the grave. You know what I'm saying? And this is be the condition because you're you're in a high stove that you can't get away from. Mm -hmm. It says uh, it says this is the second death. And whosoever was not found written in the book of life was cast into the lake of fire. That's and right. that's you two thirds, man. That's you right. know, because the heathen is not going to be written in the uh, 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 the book of life unless he's a confusion of face. You know what I'm saying? Sure. And that goes into uh, uh, the multitude. That's the multitude of you people, man. All right, the, the, the number of people that are actually giving the effort is real small, and that's what the Lord likes. He always deals with small numbers, man. All right, that's why he said that we shall be a little sanctuary in, in, the, in the countries where we are held captive. All right? I'm going to get this. This is on. Uh, oh, you have one more? Not here. I mean, oh, yeah, yeah, but. Con, you want to get it? Yeah, it's Revelation 14 and 9. Con. All right, I'm there. This is uh, Revelation 14 and 9. It says, And the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast in his image and receive his mark in his forehead or oh, in yeah. his hand, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of the Most High, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation. And he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone, in the presence of the holy angels and the presence of the Lamb. And that's pretty much when you how about she how shot comes back, man. You see that UFO alien invasion, as you so called would say. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? Anybody that take the mark of the beast, which is the RFID chip, or the uh NFL I oh, know the NFL. The NFC. Yeah, the NFC. N NFC, which is near field communications, and then the RFID would be radio frequency identification. Mm -hmm. uh, if you uh get that in your forehead or in your hands and you're gonna get destroyed. And it's gonna be with this uh thermal nuclear fire and that'll be that uh torment, man. That's why right. it'll be the modern day uh fire and brimstone. That's right. Man. That's right. And that and and and, <laughs> and if you're not in this small sanctuary <laughs> that the Lord has set up in these last days, you're gonna be destroyed, man. Alright? You got another one? Uh no, I was just pretty much gonna uh, go back to uh how the Revelation twenty and ten. It says, and, 
It says, and the devil that deceived them were cast into the lake of fire. Hey, the devil, he's gonna uh, for you, for you. He's gonna work on your uh, physical lust. You know what I'm saying? If you got a child or a loved one, he's gonna work on your strong emotions. You know what I'm saying? That's why uh, it says with RFID chip, he caused all those small and great, rich and poor, free and bond to receive a mark in their hand or in their forehead. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And their right hand on their forehead. That's because uh, uh, it's gonna be the new currency. You know what I'm saying? You know, when shit, when shit hits the fan, this is how he's gonna uh, resolve the chaos. Exactly. You know he, he's yeah. showing that now. He's showing that uh, he's putting it on BBC. He's putting it on uh, CNN. All right, he's showing you what he's about to do, and we've been telling you what he's about to do. All right, so he can't do nothing but what the Lord said he was gonna do, and that's what that's what's happening, man. And he knows this. He knows his time is short, and you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, you continue to follow him right down into the path of destruction and fiery flames, man. Okay, this is why we're out on the highways and byways trying to get you out of that mindset. But you people are not you're not taking heed. You're not seeing the signs of that RFID chip, the NFC chip. Being pushed right in your face, you know. That's why a lot of you, you, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, you gonna take that chip and you are gonna be destroyed, just like the scripture says, man. With your daddy, the East, East, all the, the so-called white man, and white race, because you love them so much and you love their wicked ways. You see? You go to Revelation thirteen fourteen. Come. Huh. All right, go ahead. All right, it's Revelation 13 and 14. It says, And deceive them that dwell on the earth by the means of those miracles which he had power to do in the sight of the beast. And that's what that, mar uh, that mark of the beast, man. You know what I'm saying? Because if somebody was blind, they'd be able to see again. If they couldn't hear, they'd be able to hear. You know, if they weren't able to speak, they'd be able to speak again. You know what I'm saying? And for how Jake, Jake knows that they had, uh, well, Esau knows that Jake has a natural affection for their family members and their friends and people they're close to. That they want the better for him, you know what I'm saying? And this is the trickery, the treachery that he's gonna use just so he can get these people, man. You know, mm -hmm. uh, uh, or even uh, living expenses, money situations. Jay likes to be comfortable. Jay don't like going through hardship. And with that being the case, these gonna be certain things that Esau is gonna use just so he's can, uh, so he can get them. It sure. says, uh, it says, uh, and this is this, this is the deception right here. Mm -hmm. Like when it says in um, uh, 1 Thessalonians 5 and 3, when they say peace, peace, then sudden destruction can come. You know what I'm saying? As soon as you take that chip, you know what I'm saying? You already sealed. Your destruction is on its way. You know? It says, uh, it says, uh, saying to them that dwell on the earth that they should make an image to the beast which has a wound by a sword and and did live, you know what I'm saying? So the thing is, is that this will also be part of uh, uh, society because America is going into that that digital phase, you know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Let, make everything electronic. So in, uh, when it comes down to the jobs, that's gonna be the new system, you know? If you wanna continue to work, you know what I'm saying? And that's how Esau is gonna play. He's gonna like, oh man, I need food, I need clothes, I got children, I need to think about them, mm -hmm. I need to think about myself or, mm -hmm. my, uh, oh, my, my older, a mother, father, this, that, and the other, or older grandparent and stuff, you know, they're going to play upon that just so you can take that chip. Mm -hmm. Meaning that Esau is going to um, come up with certain conditions just to force you to get it, you know, when you got to make it a, a, a your own choice. John, and that's them, that, that's that's our people staying in these ways, man, staying in the ways of this place, man. Because you see the Edomites, they see this, this chip being presented, all right, and a lot of them, they're already ready to take it. And a lot of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, you're ready to take it. Why? Because you don't have any discipline. Why? Because you don't have any knowledge. All right, you don't know. You you don't know not to take the the chip. You think that that chip is all there is. Is it, you think that that during that time you're gonna think that chip is all there is? They gonna set it in a trendy type fashion because yeah. here it is. They can come out with the same type of Jordans every single year, and yeah, y'all get it because it's trending. Mm -hmm. Everybody wanna be up to point, up to the flow. Nobody want to be back in fashion or or, or, or cast it or cast it out as in uh, lame or something. Mm -hmm. This, that, and the other. So they're gonna have the uh, your, your LeBron James. They're gonna have your Kobe Bryant, your Michael Jordan. You know what I'm saying? All these uh, people you look up to, young baby, whatever. You know what I'm saying? They're gonna end up getting the chip, and that's gonna that's one of the ways that uh, 
uh, they're gonna use just to get you out of Jake's to uh, get the chip as well. Yep. And eventually, you're gonna get destroyed because <laughs> that means you you've chosen the way of this world and you've chosen the god of this world, which is the so-called white man, over Yahweh Bashem Shai. All right, so you're none of you. How about Shimmy Alshai's? At that point, you take that chip. You're useless. Therefore, you're going to be cast into the, the, the lake of fire with the heathen, with the so called white man, the devil, and Satan. And that's what the, the, the brothers' uh, scriptures uh, uh, all throughout Revelations were stating, man. You see? This is why you, <laughs> you, this is why we say you did not choose the fear or the ways of Yahweh by Shimmy Alshai. You chose your own ways and, and your own imaginations. Okay, I was talking to this girl the other day. I'm still, she's saying I'm still stuck in my beliefs. I still got my own beliefs. I just told you the truth and what the Lord wants you to be like and what he wants you to do, but you still got your own beliefs. You see, this is the mindset of our people, man. They got their own beliefs. They got their own way. All right, let's see if you got your own way out of these nuclear destructive missiles that are going to be flying and pelting this place, man. Let's see if you got your own way out of these uh, Russian troops dropping down in the middle of your street, breaking in your damn house. Shooting you in the face, raping your children, raping your, your your wife, eating up your food, drinking your liquor that's in your cabinet. Let's see if you have your own way out of that, man. Let's see if you have your own way out of uh, uh, your, your your ribs touching after you're not eating for a couple of days. You people don't have any 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 uh, control over yourself. The Lord controls you. Therefore, if you hearken to Him, He's gonna direct your way. He's gonna help you and keep you stable during these times. But our people, they don't want to do that because they don't fear the Lord. They say they do, but they don't, man. It shows. Okay? If you feared the Lord, you would be standing up to, to pedophilia. You will be saying something about these, uh, these, these Catholic priests being caught in scandals. You wouldn't be out on the highways and byways cursing us out, telling us we're full of hate when we're just trying to help our people get out of this fiery flame that's coming, man. That just shows that you, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, you're out of your mind. You're bugged out. And a lot of you are through. And a lot of you are already set and written and pinned by Yahweh Bashem Yahshai for different types of destructions, man. Remember, this is a movie, man. So if, a, if the Lord writes you in a certain part, you're going to fulfill that part and you're going to play that part out at the very end. And some of you is going to be very, very uh, uh, grievous because you've been walking in your pride, man. You, you're stuck in your own beliefs. You got your own beliefs. So the Lord said, okay. All right, so <laughs> let's see what you're going to do in this situation with your own beliefs. You see? You got one? Yeah, this, uh, this is Deuteronomy chapter 32, verse 39. All right, go ahead. It says, see now that I, even I, am he, and there is no God with me. I kill and I make alive. I wound and I heal. Neither is there any that can deliver deliver it out of my hand. So all you Jakes that thinking that you'll be able to just stay in your own ways, that the guys would judge me according to how I want to be judged. You know what I'm saying? Who is in that madness? Because think about it like this: Are you gonna let your children tell tell you what punishment that they're gonna receive after you told them the punishment they was gonna receive and mm -hmm. not clean their room? Mm -hmm. Are you gonna allow that and stuff? So you gotta think about the same way when it comes down to the heavenly father. You know, if you want to follow your ways, you, you ain't going to deliver yourself out your hands. Mm -hmm. This what's the only way I mean, out his hand. What's the only way to do that? Follow the law, statute, commandments, have the hope, and, and present your body as a living sacrifice, man. That's mm -hmm. the only way. That's right. That's it. Okay. This is, um, this is 2nd Ezra chapter 9, verse 19. I'm um, starting at 18. It says, And now when I prepared the world, which was not yet made, even for them to dwell in that now live, no man spake against me. <laughs> you see? But now we're in that age where the Lord, everybody's speaking against the Lord. You're speaking against his men. Therefore, you're going to get destroyed and you're going to get the, the, the destruction and, and the judgment fit for you. Verse 19, it says, For then everyone obeyed, but now the manners of them which are created in the world that is made are corrupted by a perpetual seed. And by a law which is unsearchable, rid themselves. Verse 20, it says, So I considered the world, and behold, there was peril because of the devices that were coming to it. The Lord's looking at this place, man, and it ain't right. The spirit and the vibration of this place is not right, man. And you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, this is the vibration we're trying to get you out of. All right, so the Lord can look down upon you and see that, you okay, he's out of this world. He hates this world like I hate this world. 
Let me give him salvation. But you, 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 you Israelites, you're not doing this, man. It says, verse 21, it says, And I saw and spared it greatly, and have kept me a grape of the cluster, and a plant of a great people. These are people of men and women and children that are going to try to their best to hearken to the Lord, man. Okay? They're going to hold, they're going to, have, they're going to try to hold that hope until the end. These are the people the Lord is uh, are going to watch over, man. You see? Not the rest of you people doing whatever you want to do. You're not going to be regarded as nothing. Okay? You're going to be looked at as cattle that can be uh, sacrificed. A burnt offering. That's what's going to happen to you. You're going to be destroyed with Esau. The so-called white race. They're going to be destroyed here in America. Not one Edomite, one white so-called white man is going to escape America. Because what their forefathers have set up is a, a wicked, evil kingdom. And they're going to have to pay for that. The sins of their forefathers. That has nothing to do with you. Okay? You've, you've been receiving your judgment. Being and catching hell in their, in their civilization. In their kingdom. Okay? Now it's time for you to come out of your hell and come into your, your, your heaven, man. But you, you niggas and Latinos and Native Americans, you don't want to do it, cause you're, you're 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 gone, man. It says, let them. So this is what the Lord said. He said, let the multitude perish then. <laughs> so the Lord don't care then. You want to stand here? Fine. Fuck you too. All right, you're gonna be destroyed. Which was born in vain, cause a lot of you were born in vain. All right, the majority of our people they were born in vain. It says, and let my grape be kept, and my plant. For with great labor have I made it perfect. So the Lord is only looking for his elect and the one third, man. That's it. Two thirds of our people, the Lord is basically saying, fuck you. I'm going to destroy you. I don't care about you. You'll come back on the other side. Then I'll have mercy on you. And he's having mercy on you by putting you through this, fi this, 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 this physical fire. So then when you come back out on the other side, all right, you can remember that, damn, I messed up. I should have been right. I should have listened. And you're going to give reverence to the people that, 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 that kept their integrity. And those are going to be the people that are going to be over you. And you're going to be ashamed. All right? Although you, you're not going to be ashamed forever. You, you're going to enjoy the kingdom as well. But you're going to be ashamed because you, you're going to know that you should have listened. And you could have avoided, avoided that fiery flame that you went through. You could have avoided the, the starvation, the race riots, all right? The martial law that you went through. All right? Those, those uh, what, do you, what do you call them? Those, uh, those camps they put you in. You see? You could have avoided all this by just listening to how about Shem Yashai and his men. All right. This is second Ezra chapter eight, verse one, it says, and he answered me saying the most high had made this world for many, which is why you see many people doing wickedness. It says, but the world to come, that new world of righteousness, the world that Yahweh Shai is going to be ruling over. How is he going to rule? He's going to rule with these law, statutes and commandments. It says, but the world to come for few. I will tell thee a simple to Ezra. And when thou askest the earth, it shall say unto thee. That it giveth much mold whereof earthen vessels are made. But little dust that gold cometh of, even so is the course of this present world, which shows you that a lot of people are not going to be saved, man. The multitude and, 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 and the, the, the masses of these people in America, they're going to be destroyed by these calamities, man. Why? Because they didn't fear the Lord. All right. And that's the whole, that's the whole, that's the, that's the, that's going to be the name of the, the, the lesson, man. These did not fear the Lord. Who are these? Who are the? Who are the these? The people that didn't didn't, didn't uh, get right, that didn't hearken, that that scoffed the prophets, that made fun of us. All right, when well, we were just out there for the for the good of our own people, man. You see, it says verse three, there be many created, but few shall be saved, and that's gonna be the end thereof for a lot of you people, man. A lot of you not gonna get saved. A lot of you gonna have to go through everything, including the thermonuclear destruction. That's how wicked a lot of some of you people are. The Lord has every plague set for you, and then you're going to be ended with fire. You see? Now, we're out there trying to help you avoid this, but you don't want to hearken, man. All right, the trumpet's being blown, and you're still sitting down. War is coming. The fire's in the house. All right, they have, they've sent the, uh, they've catapulted a firebomb over the wall. All right, the armies are outside our wall. We're blowing the trumpets, but you still want to sit in your house and, 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 and eat and and have sex and, and just chill and do whatever you want to do. It's not the time for that, man. That's why it says that we're blowing the trumpet, man. But the people are not listening, man. So that's why it says there be many created, but few shall be saved. Few shall be saved because the mad, the majority of the people didn't listen, man. They didn't care. Just like during the times of Genesis, man. What was Noah do out there doing? Prophesying for 100 years. Telling them it's going to rain. 
And then when it rained, they got they came to his boat scratching on the doors and scratching till their damn nails came off. But the Lord sealed the door because he didn't care about you people. It was too late. And that's going to be the same time now, man, when this fiery destruction comes and when all this chaos starts to happen, man. You people are not going to know where to run. And all this is because you didn't fear the Lord, man. You see? Did you have one? Yeah. It's Matthew chapter 24, verse uh, 35. Count them there. Go ahead. It's uh, Matthew 24 and 34. It says, Verily I say unto you, this generation shall not pass till all these things be fulfilled. Heaven and earth shall pass away, but my word shall not pass mm -hmm. away. It's verse 36. But of that day and, and hour knoweth no man, no, not the angel or, or of heaven, but my father only. Mm -hmm. That's talking about the return. It says, But as the days of Noah were, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. Mm -hmm. For as in the days that that were before the flood, they were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage. And that's talking about just fucking around. Yep. It says, uh, until the day that Noah entered into the ark and knew not until the flood came and took them away, all the way, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. You know, so that means that uh, like it says in Ecclesiastes 1 and 9, there's nothing new under the sun. You know what I'm saying? Hey, uh, uh, so guess guess what's going to happen? Just like how uh, down in time of Noah, you know, all they knew was the dew of the earth. You know what I'm saying? They never knew what rain was. Mm -hmm. So they didn't expect it or never even think that it would actually happen. Mm -hmm. Hey, guess what? They they found out firsthand. So seeing is believing. You got to see. Yep. You know? I yeah. had... Um, I keep going. Actually, uh, verse 40. It says, Then shall two be in the field, the one shall be taken and the other left. Two women shall be grinding at the mill, the one shall be taken and the other left. Watch therefore, for ye know not what hour your Lord doeth come. But know this, that if the good men of the house had known in what watch the thief would come, he would have watched and would not have suffered his house to be broken up so the mm -hmm. thing is is that since we don't know when the time is going to come and stuff this is the best time to uh uh have that fear you know to not misplace your fear in other things but fear your how about and y'all shot hoping to be saved on the first go round, hoping right. to be at the 144,000 or the one third you know hoping to get saved you know not to think to be in a mind frame that you saved already this oh. is uh 44 it says therefore be ye also ready for in such an hour as ye think not the son of man coming mm -hmm. you know uh, uh yeah i have another one okay we'll go to second peter's three verse three okay go ahead all right it's second peter's three and three it says knowing this first that there shall come in the last days scoffers walking after their own lust, you know? So you're not gonna take heed, you're not gonna be scared, you know? And usually the scoffers that, that's, that's coming in, they, they think they're okay right now, you know? They think that this is heaven, you know? And it's, that they're still in hardship. It, uh, verse four, it says, and saying, where is the promise of his coming? For since the fathers fell asleep, all things continue as they were, from the beginning of the creation. And that's somebody who lacks patience, man. You know what I'm saying? Because it's, it's like it's not happening on their own time. So guess what? They like, well, things are still bad, even to this day. Jake says, it, uh, 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 like, well, shoot. Man. Well, he's still in power, so, shoot. you know, they just give an excuse to give up. Verse 5, it says, uh, for this they willingly are ignorant of that by the word of the Most High, the heavens were of old, and the, the earth standing out of the water, and in the water, whereby the world that then was being overflowed with water perished. And that's talking about the time with Noah. It says, but the heavens and the earth, which are now by the same word, are kept in store, reserved on the fire against the day of judgment and perdition of ungodly men. You know, and that's, that's pretty much the second death, man. 
-hmm. you know. Uh, uh, the Lord said that he would no longer destroy the, uh, the earth by, uh, by water, but by fire. And this is the second death, man. First death was with the flood. Right. So, so you know, really think upon it, man. Like, you don't want to be in the last minute, wish you would have, could have, would have. Mm-hmm. You know? I could have, would have. Dang, I wish I would have. Nah, man, the Lord ain't going to try to hear that, man. Yeah, it's better to have a spiritual eye than a physical eye, man. Kind of, cause it's gonna be that uh that spiritual closing of the ark door. All right, when you don't see us on the highways and byways, that mean that that that, that ark door is closed, man. All right, when that famine of word comes and you can't find videos of us on YouTube, that means the ark door is closed, man. And, and the only way that you that you can get saved is Lord willing, you you run into one of the men of the Lord, and Lord willing, the, the Lord put the Spirit on him to actually want to teach you. Because a lot of you gonna run into us, you might run into us, but we might not want to say shit to your ass. We might tell you to go to the sellers and buy, man, like the scripture says, man. You don't, you can't have none of our our, our uh, oil. And then y'all gonna end up destroying all those pastors yep. that are looking for the truth. Yep. That's right. You got any more? Con, con. So, you know, with that, man, Lord willing, this was edifying. We want to end it by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone for teaching and ruling well in the scriptures. And salutations to Yuakiam across the world, pushing his word in truth and in sincerity and with charity. Shalom and Abad Babal. Shalom. Shalom.